Hello again. This video is going to be pretty short, but it is going to talk about some important things about how to present well in groups. Now group work can sometimes be very challenging, and it's especially challenging when you not only have to work in a group to kind of create something, but then you also have to present it because that kind of combines some people's two least favorite things to do. So hopefully these guidelines will help out with just a little bit. First off, and this would be something that a lot of people, I think this is the big reason why a lot of people don't like working in groups, don't dump all the work onto one person. Because if you're that one person that gets stuck doing a lot of work, it really sucks. And if you're the person that dumps a lot of work on someone else, it's going to come back and bite you. So make sure that you're doing an equal amount of work with everybody else in the group. And if you feel like you're doing less work, you probably are. So talk to your group members and say, hey, what is it that I can do to make this better? Okay. Second thing, and this is a big part of group presentations. That's, that's kind of the group work part of it, is that don't dump all the work on, every, on one person. The second thing I want to suggest is that when you're making a group presentation, make sure you're transitioning well in between each individual speech. So a couple of things to think about with that. First off, make sure that everybody's speeches actually connect together in terms of the topics you're talking about. Now it'll be a little bit easier here with these group presentations in this class because hopefully it would make sense for your group topics to all connect together and it should always make sense. However, make sure that if you're talking about one thing that somebody else is also talking about something similar, all right? That's just, it kind of makes sense to do that but I just want to make sure that I'm highlighting it. Additionally, make sure that you're actually transitioning between people. So don't just connect the topics you're talking about when you're talking in your individual speeches. Instead, you're also going to want to make sure that you are connecting your speech to someone else's speech. So if as you're finishing up your presentation you say whatever your closing line is, the next thing you should be saying is, all right, now that I've talked about blah, 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 I'm going to pass this over to... Jimmy, and Jimmy's going to be talking about blah, 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 all right? At the very least, your speech needs to have that type of a transition. If you don't have that type of transition, you're going to look like a bunch of individual people who sit, stand up and sit down and are giving speeches that are somewhat related. You need to make those connections to indivi each individual speeches, okay? And if you're talking about concepts that are related and if your speech is flowing well together, that transition is going to make a lot more sense. So you can say, now that I've talked about how Nana was this very loving and kind and wonderful person, I'm going to pass it off to Jimmy. And Jimmy is going to be talking about how um, she became this wonderful, loving person. And that was through the wonderful uh, relationship that she had with her family. Whatever it might be, something like that, all right? Make that connection and not just connecting each speech or your speech to the, the next person's speech by saying, I'm done, this person's going to talk. Actually make some connections between the content you've covered and the content they've covered. Additionally, make sure that you have parallel speeches. So if you're talking for three minutes, the next person that speaks should talk for about three minutes. You shouldn't have a speech where one person talks for two minutes and another person talks for 12. That doesn't make sense. We've probably been to different wedding toasts or weddings or things like that where we've seen a toast where one person talks for a minute and a half and another person talks for 12 minutes. It's really awkward for each of those people and it's awkward for the audience because it doesn't feel like it meshes up. Okay, So make sure that you have parallel types of speeches, both in terms of the time you're speaking and in terms of the concepts you're talking about. Finally, with each group presentation, make sure you have some type of an introduction to the overall presentation and some type of a conclusion to the overall presentation. Okay? What I mean by that is you don't necessarily need to have an attention getter and a credibility statement and a relevance statement and a thesis statement and a previous statement for your overall presentation. And I'm not talking about that type of formalness. What I am talking about, however, is I want you to have some type of a thing that tells us what we're doing, okay? So if you're giving a speech that's a tribute speech, you need to give us some kind of a welcome. Welcome to the Kennedy Center. We're really grateful that you're here. We're excited tonight to be honoring this guest. 
and their accomplishments. And tonight there's going to be a series of people who are going to be talking about those accomplishments and getting ready to present this award, right? That's all you need. It's a couple of sentences at the beginning of the first person's presentation. There needs to be some kind of an opening though, because if you just get up there and start talking, it's really awkward. Same thing with your closing. You need to have some type of a closing that says, thank you so much for your attention. Now we'd like to bring up this person being introduced. Or thank you so much for this. Let's raise our glasses and toast to this person that we're honoring tonight. Whatever it might be. But you need to have that introduction and that conclusion, as well as those transitions between each individual speech.